is five tongue blades high because we have given him tongue blades to experiment with last night and he's been bearing the tongue blades up and down in his motel room and he's determined that five is a good starting point for him. Okay, give me a... Uh, This goes on all day long. I've just added a bolus of acrylic to the right side. And I'm adding some to the left side. Mm. Now this awful tasting stuff is approved by the United States government. So if you don't like the taste, most people don't, you write Obama. Okay. Okay. Except Obama's over in England right now. Having tea with the Queen. Give me those tongue blades. Put in this boy's mouthpiece a moment ago, right? Yeah. And you can see the degree it opens his mouth, right? Yeah. 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 And he's going to sit here with it for a few minutes while all of his nerves and muscles quiet down, and then I'm going to adjust it, and then we'll send him on his happy way. Now you eat with this, okay? You gotta eat with it. Sleep with it, kiss your parents goodnight with it, all that good stuff. Do your homework with it, yeah. everything. 24 7 means 24 7. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. This patient returns after having had his lower appliance 17 and a half hours. He's been wearing it. His um, movement disorder has not been eliminated, it's just been reduced. Uh, he reports that he's had this best night's sleep ever last night uh, and we have great hopes for his continued improvement as the days go by. He'll be getting his upper appliance at his next uh, visit uh, because it'll be uh, constructed by the laboratory between now and the next visit that he he comes. Uh, do you want to say something for the viewing audience? Tell them how you feel. Good. I feel good. So they feel more relaxed? Yeah. The urges to uh, that, that you've been experienced before, how are they? They're less. Less, okay. Can you put a figure on it, like are they 30% less, 50% less, 90% less? Well, it's 60% less. 60% less, okay. Well, that's pretty good for 17 hours. Now, this improvement will continue as time goes by. So, that's pretty good for a 15-year-old kid, right? Yeah. Okay. This patient came in after wearing a lower flat appliance uh, for the past 25 days, which essentially uh, resulted in no improvement. Uh, his ticks continued the same, if not more, than when originally seen. Uh, today we have put in an alpha appliance in his maxillary arch and cemented it in place and converted his lower appliance from a flat appliance to a repositioned appliance to move his mandible forward to take pressure off his temporomandibular joints. This has greatly decreased his tics uh, and if he perseveres in biting into the correct position that we have dictated for him, 
his tick should start to diminish uh, very noticeably, very rapidly. Do you have anything to say to the viewing audience? Um, no. Um, do you feel less urges um, with the, these changes we made today? Um, I just feel normal. You feel normal? Huh? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's good. Uh, this young man returns uh, the next day, 24 hours after receiving his upper appliance and getting his lower appliance repositioned. Mm -hmm. And um, according to his mother, He's had a 40% reduction in his ticks in the last 24 hours. And he comes from very far away, and we're going to have a local dentist maintain the appliance in this position by refreshing the acrylic. And if that can be done adequately, uh, then this boy's tick should diminish over time. It should be probably totally gone within uh, uh, 10 or 12 weeks. Okay? What's your idea of the uh, improvement last night? Well, from last night, there was slight improvements only, but this morning, with Giancarlo's, the way he said he's, his sleep is much better, and we noticed that he he has a more relaxed demeanor. He sat down and read the journal for a half hour or so, and picked a few points out of it, and talked to us back and forth, which before he always seemed almost too tense to do any of those things. And this morning, the major ticks were major multiple ones were much released, much less. So he's, you know, he's having a few minors, but we definitely see an improvement. I have made a list of the pertinent information that you will need to know about this patient. He was first diagnosed with Tourette's syndrome at the age of five years which is the time when most of these children are initially diagnosed, between five and six and a half years of age. Amongst his symptoms are bilateral frontal headaches, bilateral occipital headaches, left retroorbital pain, vertigo, loss of equilibrium, tinnitus, bilateral facial pain, right TM joint clicking upon opening and closing his mouth, left TMJ crepitus, which is indicative of osteoarthritis on opening of the mouth. Functionally, it is painful to chew food. He has difficulty swallowing. He has constant clearing of the throat, which should make you think of an elongated stylohyoid ligament. Additionally, he has bilateral suboccipital pain, bilateral neck pain and shoulder pain, as well as stiff necks in the morning when he awakens. He has crepitus of the cervical spine when rotating his head left and right. Inner incisally, he can open his mouth a maximum of 45 millimeters, which to me is an impairment in function. When he occludes his teeth in centric occlusion, his mandible occludes 4 millimeters to the right of the maxillary midline. And we make this determination by evaluating the frenums when his teeth are in centric occlusion. He has lateral excursions of 9 millimeters to the left and 9 millimeters to the right, and normal lateral excursions are 12 millimeters, which is merely a half an inch. And finally, when we palpate around his head and neck, he has 51 different anatomical areas that are sensitive to palpation with 4 ounces of pressure at each spot. Okay. This is a 29-year-old patient that presents with 40 different ticks. Uh, we are just starting him today. We have taken impressions for a mouthpiece, uh, which we will deliver uh, next week. We have just uh, received his MRI report, which is totally negative for internal derangement. Okay, we're just going to let the camera run for a few minutes while we show some of these ticks that this uh, young man is suffering from. We've given him some tongue blades, uh, and uh, we're very hopeful because three to four tongue blades uh, greatly diminishes his ticks. Uh, and that will be the height at which we begin construction of his intraoral orthotic. We'll, we're going to have it made over the weekend. This is the last day of the week that we're going to work. We're going to have it made and presented to him next week.
Okay, here we have loaded up the occlusal surface of the appliance with soft acrylic. And we are going to take the sticks out of his mouth, open, and replace it with a soft acrylic. And just close on down, see, touch lightly, okay, open. We are removing this from the mouth. This is what it looks like. Notice how motionless he is when his mouth is wide open. And we're going to flatten it down to where these four impressions or imprints are, where these four imprints are on each side. What we are going to do is level off the occlusal or biting surfaces on both the right and left sides of this appliance. And we do it by using this lathe with a three inch wheel. And we hold the appliance against the side of the wheel like this until the center row of depressions of the lingual cusps of the maxillary teeth are almost gone. So we keep putting it against the side of the wheel until they just about fade away. Then we narrow this occlusal surface, leaving about three millimeters of acrylic to the inside of that line, and about three millimeters of acrylic to the outside of that line to the outside of that center line. Like so. Excess acrylic. We bevel the back about 45 degrees where the acrylic fits over the second molar. And we do the same on the opposite side. First we flatten the occlusal surface. So we just have this center line of uh, representing the maxillary teeth, lingual cut. We remove all the excess acrylic, except for about three millimeters of it. Then we go to the outside of the appliance.
tell the viewing audience how you feel. You've had this in, in your mouth now five minutes by the clock. Um, well, uh, uh, as I guess planned, the, the urges are have dissipated. They're not, not as severe. Um, still, still getting an occasional urge uh, to, to twitch, and um, those aren't even aren't even as, as prolonged as, as previous. Um, so far, uh, uh, definitely things working. As I said before, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's definitely doing what it's supposed to. Put a number on it. Um, yeah, like uh, about 60% um, less urges, at least. I mean, for me, it's hardly noticeable anymore. Okay, that's this is the end of the delivery appointment. After five minutes, his uh, urges are down uh, 60 percent, which is typical. That's what we've noticed in most of these young adult males. And uh, uh, once the urges go away, then the actual motor uh, movements go away uh, shortly thereafter. Uh, so uh, we're we're highly encouraged. Uh, and I want you to pay particular attention to how you sleep tonight and the next mm -hmm. night. Uh, I got it open. You know, as I got these ledges here for your tongue, you keep your to be your tongue up here like that, uh -huh. and that'll make you sleep better at night because it'll open up your throat and you'll breathe better. You get more oxygen. Uh -huh. We delivered this gentleman's uh, lower appliance one week ago, and he returned today uh, for to receive his upper appliance. We have put in his upper appliance a few minutes ago. We'll dismiss him now and see him in three weeks' time. Uh, to see how he's coming along with both appliances uh, in. We have adjusted the upper appliance that we delivered today to the lower appliance and rebalanced everything out. This young man has now had his appliances for a total of three weeks. And you can see the difference. Um, over the last three weeks, I've noticed a great deal of a benefit from, from, the, from these devices. Um, at, at times up to 80% difference in the reduction of uh, the ticking from, from Tourette's. Um, I mean, as you've probably seen in the last videos, um, you know, my head, my arms, legs are going crazy. Uh, at this point now, it's not the case. Um, occasionally, I do have, you know, ticks, outbursts, um, but they're mainly limited to my neck. Um, my arms and legs really, really don't twitch at all anymore. So uh, I'm very grateful for, for this treatment. It's definitely done a lot for me. Is this young boy's mother who's going to tell you uh, the improvement in the last three weeks? We have been so pleased and so blessed that Brian is seeing this kind of improvement. He can sit through a meal. He can uh, read some now. He does not suffer from the headaches and shoulder aches that he used to. Uh, he can drive. I don't worry so much about him driving anymore, that he's going to have outbursts and run off the side of the road or something like that. Um, I'm just very, very grateful for everything that Dr. Stack has been able to do for Brian, and I'm happy for Brian that his life is, after since he was five years old and now he's 27, that things are looking very, very positive for him. This is a view of the patient's habitual bite and centric occlusion. Notice the mandibular dental midline is off to the patient's left. When you see this occurring, check the maxillary and mandibular frenum, which are the skeletal midlines of the maxilla and mandible, to see that they are aligned one over top the other. Also notice the deepness of his bite. His upper incisors overlap about 70 to 75 percent the length of the lower incisors. To you this may be good incisal guidance, but to me it is very, very harmful. This is a view of this patient's occlusion on the right side. It is a class one dental relationship. This is a view of the patient's left side in habitual occlusion. Notice the premature loss of a lower left, second bicuspid. 
the clinical information pertinent to this patient is as follows. MRI imaging shows that the right TMJ disc is medially displaced. This was on the coronal images. He was diagnosed with Tourette's at seven years of age. Prior to seven, he was diagnosed with attention deficit hyperactive disorder and obsessive compulsive disorder. These are medical diagnoses by his pediatrician and family physician. He has left temporal headaches two to three times per month, which are so severe that it forces him to go to bed for relief. Examination showed bilateral TMJ clicking upon opening the mouth. He bruxed his teeth. He has a constant barking sound, which decreases when I repositioned his mandible edge to edge at a height of two tongue blades. He also suffers from bilateral tinnitus, which is a humming sound. He has left and right face pain, worse on the right than the left. It's painful for him to chew food. He has left and right neck pain, left and right stiff necks, cervical crepitus upon movement of his head left and right, and left and right shoulder pain. When I palpated around his head and his neck, he elicited a painful reaction in 38 different anatomical areas. Okay, this is Justin, uh, who uh, has come into our office. And as, you, as you can see that he's a Tourette's patient, and we're going to begin his treatment today with, the, with fitting him with a lower mouthpiece to stop all these uncontrollable motions that he has. And we're going to videotape these motions for a minute or two just so the viewing audience can uh, appreciate what he has to go through. Justin is a 17-year-old young man who uh, began suffering from these things at the age of eight years of age, and it's about time that uh, he got rid of them, and that's as well we're going to do for him today. <coughs> Okay, we are, I've just finished working on the appliance and we're going to put it in for the very first time right now on this young gentleman. Did that hurt you? No, no, it's was attacking. Oh, yeah, How's that feel now? Weird. Does it feel even? Um, or does one side feel a little higher than the other? Feels pretty even. I am inserting the lower mouthpiece at what I think is the correct vertical height. This is the most critical element in the delivery process. As you will see, this is not the correct vertical for this patient because we subsequently modified it by adding to this height the thickness of one, then two, and then three wooden tongue blades. And with each addition, the patient reported that his symptoms and urges improved. We then added additional acrylic to take into account this additional height of these three tongue blades to the original height of the appliance. And you will see the response of the patient to this height. Chop, chop. <coughs> Wait. Just, really. Tell me what's happening to you. <coughs> well, what? Does the urge seem less? <coughs> Um, I guess it's yeah. not. It's not really. I don't really shut my mouth. It's yeah. I don't want you to shut your mouth. Like close my um. 
Chicks, no. come. that's what? If my, if my chicks are coming down, is that what we're doing here? Yeah, just see if it's calming them down more. Yeah. It is. With this in there? Uh, yeah. It's just it's a little bit. Does that help you? The tongue blade help you? <coughs> Seem to be helping you. I have added some additional acrylic here. Thank you. The amount being the thickness of those three additional tongue blades. Now I'm going to let the acrylic harden and trim it uh, to the thickness of those three tongue blades. you right now, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, a little bit. My takes are just like way much calm, much more calm down. Yeah. Let's give him a new appliance. Uh, he had broken the clasps off his original appliance, which decreased his stability. His symptoms did not return. He has been wearing an appliance for a total of five months. And we are showing you this video footage to show that his corrections and improvements are long lasting. He will tell you that his symptoms uh, started to diminish within a week of the original appliances insertion and they have been gone for the last five months and stayed gone. In his history he also had um, five years of constant everyday occipital headaches which are headaches in the back of his head every single day for five years prior to coming to see me and he hasn't had any of those at all since the insertion of this appliance. Uh, uh, he's going to say something to the to the vi viewing audience and now. Just tell them what you, uh, how you're coming along. I am doing fantastic since I've got this appliance in. 